Back at the rabbit house, the mini lops are really lopping. At four weeks old, their ears have softened and dropped. Well, for the most part. Though Harley was the first born and the first to hop, his left ear has fallen behind schedule. But Harley won't let that stop him. It's track and field day, and the mini lops are ready to show off their moves. The first event is the three-yard dash, and Harley sets the pace. Shot put is next, followed by high jump, hurdles, and finally the tunnel run, a mini lop favorite. Even shy Clover is tempted to have her turn through the tunnel until Harley makes it a contact sport. Back at the lake house, it's a big day for the five mini potbelly pigs. At seven weeks old, the piglets are ready for their first trip outdoors. And their playmate Penny couldn't be more excited. But before the piglets are free to frolic, they'll need some protection from the sun. Pigs have similar skin to humans with little hair. So they need a covering of mud or sunscreen to keep them from getting burned. Pretzel, it seems, would take the mud over the sunblock. This is the first time the piglets have encountered grass. Their best guess what to do with it? Maggie goes with her gut. She's not afraid to try anything. Little Lulu's getting a bit sleepy in the warm sunshine. Well, maybe something fun will energize her. Wild pigs by nature like water. Since they can't sweat, they use it to cool down. But for these pampered pet pigs, it's their first encounter with the strange substance. This is a whole new experience. And it feels rather nice. Now that they've cooled off, the piglets hoof it out of there. Back to playtime in the yard. Over at the hedgehog house, the hoglets are seven weeks old. And at seven ounces, are getting closer to mom Delilah's size. So they're definitely ready to spread their spines on their first ever field trip out of the nest. Hedgehogs are playful, curious creatures. And Bruno and Spike clown around with their new toys. The hedgehog is also renowned for its love of one particular sport, which hedgehog owners call tubing. After being cooped up with the kids, mom can't wait to get back in the saddle. While brothers Bruno and Spike don't quite know what to make of mom's antics, only girl Pip watches and learns. And soon, go-getter Pip rolls with it. All the commotion attracts a visitor. Doodle, the family dachshund. It's the first chance she's had to meet these prickly little newcomers. 
and she's quick to volunteer for nanny duty. But the Hoglets aren't sure about this big stranger. And playtime with Bristly Pip is a little bit one-sided. Unfazed, Doodle takes it as a game of hide-and-seek. <laughs> but the Hoglets are pooped from all that playing. Doodle will have to wait for another day. <laughs> 